Hello everyone, I'm Nicole and I work as a barista in Malibu. Today we'll be tasting and discussing this coffee from Yuli Rosabel Parades, a female producer from Colombia's Nariño region. Over the last few years, we have become more interested and impressed with the coffees coming from the region of Nariño, which is located in the southwesterly corner of Colombia near the border with Ecuador. Coffees from here can be very ripe and fruity and less restrained than the coffees from Hula. In past years, when we have traveled to this part of Colombia, a lot of the producers have had their farms around the base of Volcan Galares. This is also true of Yoli's coffee farm, Guacimal. Sitting around 1900 meters above sea level, it is planted out with Castillo variety coffee trees near the municipality of Ancohuya. Ancohuya is located to the northwest of the volcano near the city of Pasto. Around September, Yulu will employ pickers to pass around her coffee trees, working in several stages to select ripe cherries for processing. Once the pulp, the coffee is dry fermented in a manner typical to the region for a period of 24 to 48 hours, depending on the weather. After the mucilage has broken down sufficiently, the coffee is fully washed and scrubbed before being placed on beds in polytunnels to dry down to a stable moisture content. Yuli ensures her parabolic dryers are well ventilated to allow sufficient airflow so as not to overheat the coffee whilst drying. And after around 15 days, the coffee is dry. Now we know a lot about Yuli's coffee. Let's make a clever dripper and we'll see what flavors we were getting. When our roastery and production team first tasted Yuli's coffee, it was still very close, not yet showing all of the potential fruity notes we can now taste in a cup. We therefore waited for a couple of months before proceeding to a full-scale roasting so the coffee can rest a bit. So in aroma, we have a lot of sweet apple candies as well as some herbs like lemon verbena. We can taste in a cup some tropical fruits and some soft gravel fruits as blackberries. And as typical for coffees from Colombia or coffees from South America, we can taste some caramel and vanilla in that as well, which is very pleasant for this type of coffee. So thank you very much for watching this video. We hope you enjoy this coffee and hopefully see you soon.